Oh, once goodness. again, everybody. I'm sorry, I was serious about 20 minutes ago. I know I was a that was. There's some rough humor so far, but just bear with me. I. In all seriousness, though, I did like Cowboy Bebop, but I guess everybody loves Cowboy Bebop. I mean, every, when people people say, "Hey, do you watch anime?" They're like, "Oh yeah, I watched Cowboy Bebop." And they're like, well, yeah, dude, everybody watches that. That's like the most meta, like, anime ever. But no, in all seriousness, though, I did watch Blue Gender, which was, I think it was called Blue Gender, the one with the giant bugs and, like, the intestines splattering everywhere. That was pretty fucking awesome. That was a great one. What do you know about Sir Eustace, Inspector? What was his reputation? A charming man when sober, but an absolute demon when he was drunk. In such moments, he was apparently capable of anything. Why, once he splashed fuel on Lady Brackenstall's dog and set it alight. Another day, he threw a decanter of wine at Miss Wright's head. Hmm, the alcohol seemed to madden him. To the point that we were forced to intervene several times to avoid a scandal. Well, well, blimey. Spectre's tale. Violent behavior. Well, duh! Obviously, he was violent towards his wife. Did you see her black eye? Fuck's sake! God damn! I hate to be—I hate to be detective obvious here, but for fuck's sake, the guy was obviously beaten on the poor woman. That was not a burglary thing. Burglars would not beat, would not leave that kind of a black eye, man. They, she wouldn't even be conscious right now. She'd be so fucked up. Okay, this guy was a douchebag. Ladies and gentlemen, I can tell this guy was a douchebag. I can tell you right now. See what he's got here? Now look, in Red Dead Redemption, I'm always shooting animals. But here's the thing about Red Dead Redemption. The animals don't actually die. They are fucking coating and textures and shit that are in the game, and when you kill them, they, they you, yeah, you skin them, and you get, like, stuff you can sell at gun shops and all. But, in real life, killing animals just for the fucking sake of it, as this guy did, obviously, is not cool. Like, ooh, let me go kill a ram and put his fucking horns on the wall. No, uh, no, don't do that. Don't do that. That's not, that's not kosher. That's not copacetic. Don't do that shit. When you kill an animal, you kill it, you eat it. You, you, you're, you kill an animal for meat, bro. That's, that's how you do it. You kill an animal for meat. You don't kill an animal for a treasure. No, a trophy. I meant to say trophy. You don't do trophy hunting. Trophy hunting is a douchebag move. Real men shoot an animal with a camera if they want to remember it. You take a picture of the fucking thing. You hang that on the wall. All right? You don't hang its goddamn head on the wall. That's fucked up. Even if you kill a deer, bury that shit. Whatever, cut the meat, maybe make a coat out of the fucking skin or whatever, and then just bury the rest. Because it's, you know... It's, and only, and you, fuck, you don't even need to kill a deer to get its meat. You go to a fucking store, you can buy, like, fucking venison at a store. Specialty stores or whatever. Buy the fucking venison. Just buy it. You got money. You got a job. You fucking buy things. Buy it. Don't go kill an animal and just, you know. Well, then again, okay, when it comes to deer, deer are kind of like rats anyways. At least in Maryland. Deer are just, there's so many of them. War, uh, what is it? Uh, wild boar. When you're in Texas, go to town on them. There's so fucking many of them, they'll never go extinct. But what I'm, I'm, okay, what I'm, what I really mean here is, don't kill buffalo unless you're going to use them for something. Don't kill bear. Actually, just leave bear alone unless they're coming at you. If they're coming at you, like attacking you. Okay, go ahead and kill them. That's self-defense. That's a whole other. That's a whole other thing. But don't go out actively seeking animals to kill just so you can be like, you look at me, I'm man, I'm a man, I can go against nature, I can kill shit. No, fuck you, fuck you. Don't do that. Don't even raise your gun against an animal unless you intend to eat the hell out of it. Hey, fun fact, a deer can last like can that's like two that's like two weeks worth of food. If you just you know if you you know, you, you, there's like deer burgers, deer steak, deer stew, uh let's see, there's um deer jerky. 
Your jerky is very delicious. I know all you vegans out there are like, Ew, okay, you just lost me because you're talking about eating meat. No, but seriously, though, there's a point to hunting animals. And that shit is not it. Drop the mic. Moving on. So, Watson, what have you learned from examining Sir Eustace's body? Well, I can confirm that the death was instant. Sir Eustace was facing his attacker when he received a blow to his head. There are no other apparent injuries. Okay, moving on. Moving on. Barefoot. He had therefore been in bed and did not have time to fully dress. That must be the murder weapon. <laughs> you think? <laughs> the head was cracked with the force of the blow. Yeah, I bet it was cracked. The fire poker is a pretty, pretty, uh... It's, uh I would imagine it's... a large stick. A formidable weapon. I'm sure that was his weapon against whoever the hell killed him. Ugh, man, I bet you that blood's cooked on air pretty good. covered in blood. Sir Eustace might have struck his head upon it while falling from the blow. That is one possible explanation. All right, so we've got a bent polka, a dead body. I wonder if they're connected. <laughs> of course they are. See, poker blood. The death of Sir Eustace could have been due to a... Yeah, of course. It's possible. Let's see, what's this? Well, obviously they stole the silverware. What? It appears that the bell rope was cut by someone taller than me. Oh my god, Kobe Bryant killed him. Son of a bitch. A fur trader's cabin. Now, okay, here's my theory. You know what? That's a very good point. Hey, everybody on YouTube is probably watching this later. My friend Rokery here, who's commenting at the moment, he who actually he's the guy I've been talking to, like, pretty much. Well, apart from you guys, I've been talking to you guys, but I mean, every time I react to something, it's something he wrote. Anywho, okay, you're all caught up. He just wrote, who the blank wakes up, puts on pants, a fancy shirt and suspenders, and can't at least put on some socks. He had plenty of time to put shoes on. What the fuck? And that's a good point. That's a really good point. Look at this. I mean, when I hear a bump in the night, you know, I'm in my boxers and my t-shirt. You know, that's that's a normal thing to do. I'm sure a lot of you are in a boxers and t-shirt, or for you ladies out there who are obviously aren't watching this, giggity giggity, you're probably in like a thong or boy shorts or like a tank top that goes just above your tits and, and probably your bodies are all sweaty because it's, it's like summertime and your long blonde hair just kind of flows in the wind when you when you run to investigate the noise and turns out to <clears throat> anyway anyway for all of you who are like asleep when you hear a noise you wake up you grab a weapon you're obviously not ready to run downstairs and like uh, you know investigate this guy on the other hand i know i know this is victorian england but for fuck's sake he obviously had plenty of time to get fully dressed here grab his, his walking stick, and run downstairs and stop the burglars from stealing his precious... Well, look at this fucking mess they made. This is probably what woke him up. But stealing his precious, uh, you know, knife and fork and spoon set. The reason why I know they're blonde rookery is because that's just... Just... It's... Just... Someday I'm going to explain to you the object of preferences. I'm just going to... Let's wine move on. Are expensive and, mostly from France. and again, there's nothing wrong with brunettes. Even though redheads don't have souls, there's nothing wrong with brunettes. Moving on. 
There's a this candlestick. candlestick is valuable. It is interesting that it was not also stolen. Yeah, why didn't they steal that? Like a it's still it's still lit. And I don't mean like lit like hey we're going to a party kind of lit. I mean this is like lit like it's 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 lit. An empty silverware box. It appears that the intruders have stolen the contents. I I know you know about preferences, Rookery. It's just it's just bl it's just bl blondes pro. Mm. All right, let's just change the subject. Let's figure out who took the silverware. Let's figure that out. Let's let's get that worked out. Wait, what's this? Ooh, drinks. This glass has some wine traces, but no visible bees wing. Who gives a fuck about bees wing? What's when did bees wing become a part of the A decanter standing next to the open bottle. An inseparable pair indeed. Chateau Calon Segur, French wine, Grand. <laughs> Exactly. More deep holes. Let's it's it's that's some that's that's some inception shit. Let's 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 skip the whole Swiss Swiss Alps fucking satellite beacon part and let's just stick with the hotel that keeps turning around that Joseph Gordon Levitt has to fight through. Let's just stick with that fucking dream sequence. Let's not go deeper than that. <laughs> you know. There is bees wing at the bottom, as if Wait. the wine had not been decanted before being poured. Oh, those sons of bitches. For all you wine connoisseurs out there, I'm sure you're already shaking your heads with your arms crossed like, Oh, those bastards. I'm sure my brother, if he was watching us right now, he'd be going like, Oh my god! How did they not decanter the, the, the thing before, like, putting the beeswax at the bottom of the, of the two-inch tall wine shot glasses? Uh... This glass has some wine traces, but no visible bees wing. Okay, so it's obvious that three people were it's having a toast. It's strange that only one of these glasses has dregs of bees wing inside it, while the other two are clear. Well, two of them were probably alcoholics. I think that's... One One guy was probably like, nope, nope, I'm on the wagon. I, I, would, I, would, I would prefer a Coke, please. And then they'd be like, well, we don't have Coke. Is Pepsi okay? You know, that's how it is with me. I ask for a Sprite, and you're like, oh, is Sierra Mist okay? I guess Pepsi just owns fucking everything, because you can't get a Sprite anywhere unless you go to a vending machine. It's like, oh, no, Sierra Mist. That's why I, when I go to a place, I just ask, can I have a Sprite and or a Sierra, Sierra Mist? I, I don't, actually, I don't say and or. I don't say and slash or. I just say Sprite or Sierra Mist. That way it cuts them off completely. They don't even go, oh, well, is Sierra Mist okay? Fuck that. Don't even ask me that question. Just Sprite or Sierra Mist. Some kind of lemon-lime beverage you got. You know, whatever. Just, you know. It's like, you know, you have, don't have Coke? Oh, was Pepsi okay? Is Monopoly money okay? Like, fuck's sake. A fur trader's cabin. I'll tip you with a... Leads to the upstairs with a $2 bill. Apparently the Figure that one out. Venture there. The hunting scene. See, deadly accident. The death of Sir Ostus could have been due to this accidentally striking his head on a fireplace grate. Yes. Poker blow. The death of Sir Ostus could have been due to... I think it's a poker blow. Okay, I'm not an expert on... I'm not like Dexter or anything. I'm not an expert on like blood spatter. But I'm pretty sure that when he was hit with the poker, he fell down and the blood kind of like... Onto the grate. I think that's how a you know he can't he couldn't have hit the grate and then blood spatter no poker blow splat that's what happened for now it's blue so I'm just gonna stick with that two glasses glass with bees wing I like this case this is I don't have to multiply click on random shit to get these little results here 
This is my, I like this case. Three people. There were three people drinking wine out of these glasses. One of the three probably befells wine with bees wing. Or one of them's on the wagon. Two people. There were two people drinking wine out of these glasses. The remaining glass with the bees wing consisted solely of the dregs from the other two glasses. Yeah, let's, let's stick with this one for now. Okay, no? Alright, alright, that's cool. Yeah, you know, turn red. That's cool. Alright. Well, I know blood doesn't look, work like that, Rokery, but what I mean is, like, obviously he was hit with a poker. He was hit with the fire poker. The blood, like, he was hit with it, and he fell, and the blood, like, maybe he bumped against the, the grate as he fell, but definitely the poker cut the skin, made the blood, he hit against the grate, spewed the blood on the grate, landed on the ground, is what I meant to say. That's that's basically what I meant. I don't mean, like... But no, hitting, just hitting his head on the grate wouldn't have caused that kind of blood. I've hit, I've hit my head on things before and falling down, not while drunk, for the record. Not while drunk. But I've fell down, hit my head on things before. Sober. Sober. And blood has never splattered like it like it did there. So some something, something else must be afoot. Something else in, in Sherlock Holmes talk. Something else must be afoot. Yeah, he he must have been hit with a poker. I mean that's some I mean plus these these floors are made of wood. I think it's probably oak wood, maybe birch. The only reason why it looks laminated is because this is computer graphics. I mean, well it's it's not a computer console that I'm playing on, but it's like, it's graphics. I think it's, if this was real life, it would look a little more dustier than that. Nothing, Nothing's this clean. But, I, I mean, it's... He, he hit it pretty, pretty... He hit it pretty, the pretty bad. Was instant. Yeah, I bet it was. I bet it was. Looks... Yes, it was. What's out here? Ooh. Oh, yeah, dude. Hey, fun fact. I love gardens, people. I mean, I'm not much of a botanist, but if I had the time, then again, I could always make the time, but I guess I'd have to give up video gaming. I, I would love to be a botanist. Have a greenhouse, grow some flowers. Man, flowers smell fucking great. I'm not talking about weed. This is not leading up to a weed joke. I'm being serious here. I would totally, I would totally fucking have a greenhouse if I could. Love flowers. Flowers are kick ass. This is, this is, every time I go into a garden, it's like, it's like fucking whoa, you know? It's a pretty cool garden. Of course, this is a Victorian English garden. There's, the only thing that comes close to this is maybe the garden of the, uh, the Muter Museum in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. And even that, you know, is, it's a garden. More of a medical garden than anything, because it's got like medical plants for medicines and shit. But that that's, that's a pretty garden. It's a pretty garden. It's actually a little nicer than this, but yeah. Anyway, there's a there's another little factoid for you. Fucking love gardens. Of course, this must be fall. This must not be at its uh, at its like 100% beautifulness, but whatever. All right, can't go in there. It's over here. Let me get out of first person. Some people are probably watching me like, Hey, this isn't Call of Duty. Why do you play in the first person for? Like, oh my god. The fuck? Sometimes I like to look at things closer. Okay. Shit. I said, automatically assuming that someone was criticizing. Alright, what? The fuck? Come on, man. I can't go in there? Yeah, maybe I need to make another deduction. <laughs> All right. Okay, this is one of those moments where I'm stuck. So let's go to the objective screen. Oh, right, 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 right. Okay, let's, yeah, let's question her, ask her why the hell there were three glasses. There are three glasses on the dining room table. I was wondering if... 
Oh, I forgot. When I came to myself the first time, each of them had a glass in his hand. They might have been a father and his two sons. They talked together in whispers, and then they left. Your ladyship? Well... Oh, yeah, totally. Yeah, I like to, you know, usually with these games where there's a lot of detail, I like to look at things, you know, that, like, slightly bit more than... Lord Brigham Brackenstall. The Brackenstall family seems rather austere. See, with this game, the left trigger just, like, switches to Watson at certain points. You know, but usually in a game with a left trigger, you know, you hit it and then it does this or zooms in over the shoulder or something, but... If a game if a game has a first person option like this one does, I like to use it whenever possible so I can The game does look a little nicer in first person, but at the same time, you get to see this guy aka Sherlock Holmes who doing his like investigation shit. I've always actually liked first per I mean third person games over I mean there's been like there was such an oversaturation of them on 360. It's like there was Far Cry and then there was the Call of Duties, and then everybody wanted to be Call of Duty, and then there was the, you know, this is, fuck. Have you found any interesting fuck. Yet, Mr. Rose? It's just try to play third person as much as possible. Yes. Oh, well, shit. How do I? I think I'm at an impasse here. I don't know what the hell to do. Oh. Oh no, that just takes me yeah, you know, that's just, that's the exit port for the game. Alright, um Pretty sure I'm missing something. Before I go back to Baker Street to recuperate. Because fun fact, that's where this Sherlock Holmes used to get all his best ideas was Baker Street. And I'm not just talking about the Great Mouse Detective. I'm talking about, like, in the original Sir Arthur Conan Doyle novels. I mean, short stories. I'm sure he did some novels, too. He used to go back to Baker Street and just, you know, chill, think about shit. And then he'd be like, aha! Of course, he would be an, uh, it would be like, aha, inside his head. He wouldn't, like, tell Watson what the hell he was doing. He would just be like, oh, I got an idea in his head. And then he would run forward and do it. And then shit would get solved, and Watson would be like, Oh, that's brilliant, Holmes. And the whole time the reader would be like, shrugging her shoulders, like, What the fuck's going on? And then at the end, it'd be like, Aha! Yeah, I get, I get it now. Well put, Holmes. Well put. That basically describes every single Sherlock Holmes short story ever, so if you don't ever want to read any of them, that is your problem. Antique hunting weapons. But at the same time... You're probably welcome. The hunting scene. Yeah, you should go out and read more. Everybody should read more. Really. I mean... Trapper's Hut. I recommend Hound of the Baskervilles. That was a good one. I remember reading that when I was in middle school. I was like, holy Trapper's shit. Hut. Fucking, fucking hound killing Trapper's people. Hut. It was like a demon dog. Of course, it didn't... Well, well I don't want to spoil it for you, but it wasn't, it wasn't anything supernatural about it. I know. Sorry. I killed it. I killed the whole killed the whole experience before you even read it, but seriously though, it wasn't it was just like a mutated dog. Please leave my Mary alone. She suffered so much she deserves some rest. The fuck am I doing? I know I'm supposed to get I think I'm I know what I'm going to do. While I'm on the subject of dogs, let me just go back to... Ba oh, yeah, I don't have to go all the way over there. Let me just go back to Baker Street. I'm going to get Mr. Toby. Get old Toby. I'm sure he can he can work something out here. He's got that snout. He's a he's a bloodhound. He's a bloodhound. Hounds are fucking... Not, not the hound of the Baskervilles that I mentioned a couple minutes ago. Not that kind of hound. Actually, that hound was a great dame. I know. I keep spoiling it. Shit. I should stop. Okay. What I'm getting at is hounds have great noses. They can sense anything. They, you know, they, 
Right, let's get Toby. Let's let's get. Where is he? There he is. Come here, you little shit. I agree with you, Toby, that Watson's shoe is preferable to Mrs. Hudson's cold cuts. Oh, that's just sickening. Come on, no, no cold cut is that I bad. I agree with you, Toby, that Watson's shoe is preferable to Mrs. Hudson's cold cuts. What the hell am I missing here? I know I'm missing something. I'm missing something. Fuck. Inspect the crime scene. Ah, oh, I haven't finished inspecting the crime scene somehow. Bugger me. Alright.